Nearly 10,000 Queenslanders already stripped of their licences have been caught back on the road. A Nine News investigation has found many are ignoring big fines and the threat of jail and carrying on driving. Police are starting regular operations around Brisbane courthouses. I also require to produce your licence for checking, please. They're finding an increasing number of people who had their driver's licence taken off them only minutes before are getting straight back behind the wheel. I think we do have a, a group of people who um, just don't really pay much attention to authority. A Nine News Freedom of Information investigation revealed in the past five years, three times the number of drivers have been caught again while disqualified, going from 3,313 in 2006 to 9,890 in 2010. The risk of a $6,000 fine or 18 months in jail, not enough to deter them. People find themselves having to choose between the awful act of driving whilst disqualified or losing their job. While young drivers are often blamed, 87% of those caught a second or third time are 21 or older. They're not just, you know, making a bad mistake, they're criminals. Bobby's 17-year-old daughter Kelly was killed by an unlicensed driver. She wants the penalties increased. They re-offend. They're intentionally going out breaking the law. I believe manslaughter charges should be put into vogue. Disqualified drivers are three times more likely to be involved in a serious accident during their suspension. And most admit the lack of licence hasn't changed the behaviour that got them into trouble. If you interview them about 12 months later, you find that a quarter of them have uh, continued to drink and drive. Police hope their court patrols will have an impact. Darren Curtis, Nine News.